Welcome to today's daily devotional. Today, we're looking at Psalm 126, and we're reading in verses five and six. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. This again is a song of ascent, things that they ought to remember while they're making that upward journey towards Jerusalem. Life is an upward journey. And these are important things that we can apply to our lives. So what is going on here? They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. We read earlier in this chapter, before we get to verses five and six, as they talk about their captivity and the Lord delivering from their, delivering them rather from their captivity. They talk about how their sadness was turned to laughter and, and singing and all the great things that happened as a result of God delivering them. And again, they cry on the Lord to deliver them from their captivity yet again. And it then gets to this point where it says, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Now, a lot of times as we read this, we think of ourselves when we're praying and we're so burdened and we're so consumed about what we're praying for, the tears come. And yes, this is applicable there, but there's also a more basic understanding that we can have. Because in order for there to be a harvest, there has to be sowing. So when it talks about them sowing in tears and reaping in joy, there is the reality that the effects of the life that they're living and the burdens of things around them may be on them and it may be so overwhelming that they're crying, but they don't allow that despair that they feel to stop them from doing what needs to be done. And if they're going to experience a harvest, they're going to have to sow some seeds. So while they go out to the field, they physically go out to the field, the tears are falling, but they don't allow the despair to stop them from doing what needs to be done. Now here is the admonition to us today. Here is the principle that we could apply to our lives. We could be facing things that are burdensome in our lives. We can be facing things that are troublesome and somewhat overwhelming, but we cannot stop doing what needs to be done. We cannot stop the spiritual things that need to be done. We cannot stop praying, cannot stop reading the word. We cannot stop um, fellowshipping with one another, though we may not be able to do it in person. We could stay connected via uh, phone or text, and we could find ways to stay connected. We cannot stop being a part of service, and I know it's different now that we're on the live stream, but we cannot stop doing what must be done. And then there's the other part of it. We can't give ourselves to despair and get in a place of depression where we want to do nothing but lay on our couches. We can't give ourselves to despair where all we do is just focus on doing things to entertain us instead of doing things that we need to do in our lives. Hey, grass is still growing. It still needs to be cut. Dishes still need to be washed. Houses still need to be cleaned. Kids still need to be kept. All of these things still need to be do done. So I'm not at all rebuking you for the tears because we all have the tears, we all feel the despair, but they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. We can acknowledge the tears and we can let them flow, but we cannot allow them to stop us from doing the things that must be done. Because in the season that is to come when we are beyond all of this, the things that we did through the tears are gonna be the things that produce great results in our life and our world. And that's God's plan for us, that the tears don't stop us and stunt our productivity in the next season to come. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Be encouraged, God is with you. Sow through those tears and we are going to reap in joy.